Hi right, everyone, this is Jake Governor, and well, um, today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about item elevators and some designs that you can use for them. So, let's start out with the easiest design here. It is just a simple torch tower with a comparator clock in it. Um, so all you have to do, put one of these in, and as you can see, it's starting to go up there. And really, on some somewhat. <laughs> oh, why am I getting so messed up? Some worlds it will um, make noise of the dispensers because it. I don't know. Right now it's either. I think it's just lagging a little bit in my world, but yeah, as you hear, um, when it has the last thing, then it makes a sound. That's actually a feature. It could be a feature of it just to know when it's done. So 55, and yeah, as you can see, here's the flaw. Every so dropper has some stuff in it. Then with the second one here, a little bit more torches, but this one will be silent on basically all worlds, and as you can see, it does kind of have a nice flow with the torches, and something that you can do. Um, Let's add another stack in there, just to make it go a little bit longer. Oop. Yep, that, and then if you alternate these, you might be able to see where I'm going with this. It actually looks pretty nice when it goes up, and... Let's see. Let's take this out. And let's put that away, put that away. And this one, it should have more than a stack of items because none of them get they none of them get left in the droppers. So I do have a very fast clock down there. Um this just signifies when there's something in it and then that powers the repeater which makes it a strong pulse. And yep. Um and then I just have a one tick clock powered to a four tick repeater that has this torch tower. Um but yeah as you heard um, that's also one of the features to it, um, how it makes the noise when it is done. Um, so yeah, just this one to build, I think that you can already see it, but in case you can't, then it's like this, let's just grab one of these, okay, and then it's like that, and then you place that there, and then you want to place one right there, and that will actually power that. Um, I believe that it is, um, it's a dispenser bud, or a dropper bud, whichever one you want. So, it does, it, that's a certain type of bud, bud switch, because that, it was, it's diagonally powering this one right here, but it still does power it, so, yeah. And to make this clock, it's very simple. Do that, put it on subtraction mode, put all these together, and then there you go. You got that. Um, and then our third one. It's personally one of my favorites. Um, not the most survival friendly with on glass. Um, that is a flaw in this design with all the glass. Um, but it's a very fast design and all you have to do is press this button and you can see the items blow up. Um, you can have them go into a centralizer if you want to make them like super centered, but you'd have to have water streams and stuff for that. But personally, I think this works great because um, right when it comes up, it doesn't take it takes a second for everything to get. They all go all the entire stack goes in all at once. So yeah, um, and basically just to build that one, you have a piston a dropper, and a crap ton of glass, basically. So you want to place a dropper here, and then you want to surround it in glass, except for this block right here. Then you want to break that block, place two down. There is void, so, yeah. Then you want to place glass on that, and then you just place this, and then you place glass right here, and then you just place that. Nope, you don't need it on subtraction mode. Then you place that. And nope, do not need a redstone torch. Yeah, it's probably good. And then all you have to do is place that. 
and then you can just go ahead and place compare to and subtraction, create this simple clock, and basically just have it point into this glass block, replace it with the normal block, and there you go. And that part works like that. Now to power the piston, I do put two pieces of redstone right there, put that there, take a button, and there you go. And once we got a stack of glass, there you go. So that's how to create that one. And I don't really think that there needs to be a tutorial on this one. Because you can kind of see it. Um, this is very resource friendly. Um, especially on redstone. But like I said, the flaw is there's a lot that are that's left in. So, yeah. And this one does not need to be on subtract. I don't know why I had it on subtract, but it does. But it was on it. So, yeah. Um, those are some simple item elevators. If you have any more designs, um, I would love to see them because I'm always looking for, um, item elevator designs and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I was just thinking of any other designs that might work, but no, I don't really, I don't, I can't think of any off the top of my head right now. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was my prototype before because uh, this is just a test world. I have the sun not moving at all so you can look at it forever and it won't even move. Um, later in the game I do want that to add like upside down hoppers even though it's not really like realistic but <laughs> I kind of like that because then I don't know you wouldn't even need an item elevator you just have to place the hoppers like that and then it would just flow right up. I don't know how that would work but yeah. <laughs> But anyway, that is my, um, that's just my little explanation on item elevators. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, so bye-bye.